budget savvy diva so i was at the mall yesterday i had a bath and body works coupon to use up that i think i got um from a mail order that i did for bath and body works and it was for a free like signature lotion or whatever for with a ten dollar purchase or more and i knew the ten dollar purchase wasn't going to be a problem so i went in store to check out all their new scents and i thought it'd be kind of a cool idea if i did bought their new scent and did like a yay or nay sort of video like if it's good or not and so that you have the knowledge when you're going to Bath and Body Works and knowing my opinion if that helps any and what I liked and what I didn't like and why. So my $10 purchase is actually right here. It is a Market Peach Candle. Even though the semi-annual sale is no longer live, they actually still have a lot of products, 75% off in-store, at least my store, which is Washington Square in Portland, Oregon. And I was able to pick up the Market Peach for actually 50% off, so it was only $10, and I just love having it. It is the three wick one. All right, so what I thought I would do first, I have my whole little setup here, is go through, basically they brought in uh, new soaps, which is our hand sanitizers, which is that line. And then in the back over there, they have brought back some new uh, scents, and then they have new scents. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do the new scents first. So what I did is I picked up. I didn't want to buy like the full size ones, so I got three for ten, and I thought. Um, I smelled them yesterday, and basically, what it's the chill line. So, um kind of like they chose scents that kind of give you kind of refreshing like I would like to put this lotion on if I had like a sunburn and I wanted something to cool it down this is the line I would use and everything in this line is going to be very soft and it almost feels like smells like there's a little bit of mint in each one and that's kind of like the cooling effect so the first one is white mango chill what was really funny is I got my husband to um, smell it and I was like so honey what does this smell of and he was like is it strawberry I was like no no mango doesn't smell like strawberry but it does have a distinct mango scent and there's like a little afterwards of a little mint so this is probably I don't really like mango but I really like this and I suggest it. This is the Citrus Orchid Chill. Now I thought this was going to be my favorite one and it's not. I actually like the mango the best. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. This almost smells like sweet pea. That line. And it has again that little like kind of winter fresh chill effect at the end of the scent. And this is Coconut Water Chill. I love coconut scents and this one I don't really smell any coconut. You know what it smells like is Dancing Waters uh, from Bath and Body Works, which is not one of my like least favorites. So uh, yeah, I was I thought for sure it was gonna go coconut water, uh, citrus, orchid, chill, and then mango, but it was actually the other way around. I guess this stayed in the middle, but I actually like the mango the best. And again, this was their three for five. All right. So then it comes to the hand sanitizers. So I didn't end up buying the soaps because I don't need that much soap. So I thought the hand sanitizers would be a great way to get all the scents. Now you're going to have that overlay of the like alcohol scent to it. But I actually, as we were watching the X-Files last night, I arranged them to what I actually liked the most to what I actually like didn't like so much. So I was going to go through each one. My favorite is the Peach Poppy. Now it smells a lot like the Market Peach Candle. So I thought that was a huge um, good thing. And you know, it's going to be the basic, you know, it really smells very peachy and fresh and light. The uh, Pink Berry Citrus is just a really nice, not floral, but it's very berry and it's very girly. So if you, you know, want to smell girly and fresh, go for that one. I love the Lemon Daisy. I don't get a lot of Daisy from it. I get a really fresh lemon. And when I think of, you know, clean, I kind of think of lemon scents. So I'd like to get lemon soaps, and I think this is no exception for the Lemon Daisy hand sanitizer. So the deal that I got with these was buy five for five dollars. I do have more. I doubled up 
on the poppy, the daisy, uh, the apple mango, and the pink berry citrus. So I did double up so I could get it twice. The um, apple mango. Now, one of my favorite scents. Mm, one of my favorite scents ever was is the country apple. And I believe like this is a really kind of close dupe to that. I don't smell a lot of mango. I smell a lot of apple to it. Uh, the passion fruit fig, it kind of has elements of being more, um, like, for Christmas time, that sort of thing. I think that it is kind of bringing you into the Christmas, um, a lot of fig to it, and which is kind of like a Christmas scent. The strawberry hibiscus, I like hibiscus flowers. And I really like strawberry, but, you know, it just smells synthetic. I hate to call it that word. It just smells like, um, if you ever had, like, lip smackers or something like that where, I don't know, it just smells synthetic. It just smells like a lip smacker, but the very synthetic smell to it. So I really didn't like that. And the wild berry, uh, fresca, fresca, something. I forget how to say that. Um, I don't like it. And I love berries, and I just, yeah, it's very synthetic. Um, it, like, made my st stomach just turn right now smelling it. I really don't like it. So, again, this is my lineup. I really suggest the peach poppy, the pink berry citrus, the lemon daisy, and the apple mango. And then these three are okay. They're okay. But these are, like, A, A, B, B, like, C, D, and, like, B minus. Yeah. Whatever. And then the last ones are up here. And these are scents that they brought back. And they are these um, layered lotions. And so with the layered lotions, it's supposed to be that you have three layers of scents running through. Now what was really funny is when I was going in and looking at all these, um, I heard two people over say the same thing, like at two separate times. They were smelling and they're like, I don't smell anything. Like, there's no scent to these. And then I found myself, when I smelled it, I'm like, there really isn't any scent to these. It is extremely light. Um, side note, if you want to know what has the most scent to something, smell the lotion and not the body wash. The lotions are going to have the stronger scent. And, uh, except for the candles. If you really want to know how something smells, go for the candle. So... This is a line of three, currently $5 in store. I don't think it's doing very well. I saw people like going to the table and then leaving. Everything else people were like grabbing and everyone was kind of eh, about these scents. And this is Mango Melon Twist. I'm not a fan of um, melon at all. Yeah, like a guy and I'm like, okay. You know, what it smells like is the lotions that you get from not a nice hotel. Um, you know, you're middle of the run, like you're above Motel 6, but not a lot. Like you're you're at the Comfort Inn, and they have lotion. Yeah, I would expect it to smell like this. Not meaning that the lotion quality isn't nice. I'm sure it is. It just, it's light, and, uh, yeah. Um, it's supposed to have, top is sparkling mandarin starfruit and juicy pineapple. Pineapple is my favorite thing ever, and if I can't smell it on this, then there's problems. Alright, and why is there pineapple with melon and mango? Whatever. Okay, the second one is sugar berry smash, and I think this is the one I like the most. Yeah, this is going to have more of like kind of a sugar plum fairy kind of scent to it. It is stronger than this one. Now this is, this, you can work with this. Yeah, so it is kind of strong um, sugar overtones. I'm not getting much of berry. Um, yeah. It has a lot of vanilla. But I'm not getting a lot of berry. Yeah, it's fine. It's something that I would not buy during Christmas time. All right, the last one, hopefully it's good, is the Plum Lily um, Swirl. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. I have a very, like, sensitive nose, and I just, either I like it or, 
I'm not smelling plum at all. It is heavy on the floral. A little too heavy. I'm almost like getting a headache from it. And I can take a lot of scents. Yeah, totally different. Like, this is really light, and this is this very synthetic floral um, scent to it. So I'm not a fan. It's supposed to be top is plum, dewy melon, green apple. It's supposed to be a unique combination of alluring fruits and florals that give summer an unexpected twist into the trash can. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to throw these away. This is something like, I'll take these to my mom, see if she likes them, because she tends to like things like lavender, which I'm not a huge fan of, and then if um, that doesn't work, I'll be giving them away. Yeah, I just, whatever. Um, I, this video is going on too long. I want to know if you been to Bath and Body Works lately, smelled any of these things, what you thought of the yay or nay video. Um, so I said what I gave those. These... Mango, Melon Tango, uh, yay, nay, nay, coconut water, nay, uh, middle of the road, like, it's not my personal preference, but I don't think it's bad, and then yay for this one, and then yay, 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 nay, 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 so there we go. I want to know what you thought of this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment what product you would think like the most, or if you've smelled them, bought them, what you like, that sort of thing. If you want more videos like this, just let me know and I can do them. I like spending money. That's why I have to use coupons so I can spend money. All that fun stuff. Okay guys, bye!